guys. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, guys. Um, it's been, um, it's been, um, how do I even say it? Should I say it's been so surreal? Or should I say it's been too much for me? I don't even know the right word to say, guys. But, huh. I've been going through it. Um, I actually have something very, very exciting, but still at the same time, it's kind of scary to share with you guys. So I've been on the process of um, getting my citizenship, guys. Um, I have a huge, <laughs> I have the exam tomorrow. I've been, we've been on this process for like four, five months now. Thank God for my cousin. If you watched um, one of my vlogs, the one my cousins came visiting, you know, they came um, from Australia, from Texas. They came to New Jersey here. They visited us and also we all went to New York. I'm not sure if you guys remember that vlog. So one of my cousins, she also works with immigration. So <laughs> one of the days we were gisting for so long, they all thought I'm a US citizen. I've been in this country for like over 12, 13 years now and I don't know I'm just that kind of person that should I say I'm always too relaxed or should I say like things like that don't really I don't know it don't really trip me you know how sometimes like people even get married to spouses for their papers people do all sorts of things for their papers and here I am like I've been here for 12 13 years it never even i mean it's it's not that it never even crossed my mind because my mother-in-law that was all she was talking about like few i would say few days or few weeks before she went no a few weeks before she went into the hospital because these cards this um civic flash cards is hers you know she gave it to me she was so worried sick especially during um trump's um tenor when trump introduced the isis people that were sending people back to their country whether you were i'm a green card holder so you know she was worried sick of course my husband he was born here my kids everybody is a u.s citizen and i'm the only nigerian citizen you know so my my mother-in-law also she's a u.s citizen she used to be worried sick she would be like oh my she would just call like this oh my when are you getting your citizenship she right she like was she kept talking about it i think two weeks before she went into the hospital that she never came out from right she we went to visit her and she gave me this card she was like this card really really helps her when she was getting ready for her citizenship so she gave it to me and even while she was at the hospital a few days before she went into the surgery right she kept telling me you have to get your citizenship so finally i just you know it's just the blessing that my cousin was she was on my neck she was like you have to go for this like you have to get your citizenship so we started the process um like four or five months ago and um finally guys i have my citizens my citizenship exam tomorrow i'm so nervous but then at the same time i have studied i've done my best i know i know i've studied guys like i know um, it's like 100 questions you have to study and then out of that 100 they have to ask you 10 and out of that 10 you have to get six correctly so i have done my best i'm just leaving the best for god but yeah this is um it's surreal for me because it's like oh my gosh thankfully i was just saying thank god that, that nigeria that nigeria accepts them um, dual citizenship right because some countries either you're for that country or you're against them but thankfully i can still keep my nigerian citizenship and also by the grace of god is like if i pass my citizenship exam tomorrow for for the united states i will now be a u.s citizen too i know my mother-in-law she had to give up her liberian citizenship for the u.s citizenship so but yeah i've been if you guys noticed noticed i've been on and off you know with my with my filming and everything with my content because i've just been kind of engrossed i've just been studying you know for this exam and I'm this kind of person that I, I don't like school guys in as much as so many people believe that oh I'm I like I'm into so many things I'm good with so many things but one thing I don't like school I don't like exams I still have um 
i still have nightmares up to today guys like when like you know from college you know how like everybody's preparing for exam everybody's reading people are running helter skelter and i still have nightmares as if i'm in an exam hall up to today and you guys know the crazy part i always tell my sister-in-law this i say the crazy part in that dream i have while i'm in an exam hall like when i'm sleeping like this if i would just have a dream that i'm in an exam hall that's kind of extra exam trauma <laughs> right this i graduated from college like 10 11 years ago and i still have the trauma up to today but the crazy part of it all is in the dream whenever i have those dreams guys i always don't know whatever it is like the questions they have in the exam in the exam paper i'll be like i'll just be in the hall in the exam hall flipping the exam exam question like left and right i'll be like i'll be talking to my neighbor but they never when did they teach this the lecturer never taught this the ne lecturer never taught this like i will just keep saying it you know like it's as if i'm confused in the exam hall that i don't know what i'm doing whenever i wake up from such exam i'll be like ah this one is trauma like a eh, trauma we went through during um our you know college years but yeah that is basically what i've been up to guys i'm just um, keeping my fingers crossed my interview is my exam actually is 8 a.m tomorrow so we need to leave here like 6 30 a.m because i need to get in there <sighs> register and follow all the process and then they have to do is three exams actually one is oral one is written and one is spoken i think you have to speak some certain american like you have to speak some certain things in english there's oral there is written and then there is it's like three different exams guys so that's basically what i've been up to as you all, as you all can see the whole house is quiet once i start reading you know once i start studying everybody's in their room even itself i'm always you know left alone to study but yeah guys i keep my fingers crossed you guys pray for me that i go for this exam tomorrow and i pass it <laughs> 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 I couldn't even apply makeup guys like <laughs> i woke up i think six o'clock there was no time for makeup i just applied powder i'm sure my whole i'm sure my face is still white <laughs> i just applied translucent powder lip gloss and that's it we are we're almost here we are almost here i'm sure there won't be any camera i'm sure there won't be any camera allowed so I'm gonna just you guys what happened you know by the time i'm done with the exam but yeah we're almost here at least we are you know we're on time i'm always late but we're on time today thank god <laughs> of american citizen we did it like eh? oh my gosh when that they, they, when they said congratulations oh my gosh i was like wow wow it was like film you know because even though i knew i had you know i've studied i've done my best but still you never know where the questions get not because it's actually 100 questions and out of that 100 
they will ask you 10 questions and you have to get six correctly to pass so i knew i have done everything i needed to do i have studied you know and everything and the questions wasn't it wasn't really like the difficult questions if they if they were talking about like the rights and all those things they would have been like difficult but they asked like pretty decent questions where is the where is the statue of liberty where um who was susan susan what what her was is it susan roberts or whatever her name that's the woman that fought for women's rights they asked of um the longest river in america they asked um um the 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 work of the judicial um system of government they ask who how many um what is the highest court in america the supreme court they ask you know all those small small questions i was thinking they will ask like all these big big questions but oh my gosh finally i have and and the funny thing right i heard that when you finish with the exam if you pass they will now like schedule you for your call for your ceremony which is like the swearing in and the oath and all those things but surprisingly immediately i finished they were like they gave me a, a paper and said i should go back out to the to the reception area that they are going to be starting the oath the, the ceremony soon i was like wow so everything guys i got everything today my you know my citizenship they did the swearing in everything we did it today guys and i'm so excited finally finally but like i was saying i'm just so happy that you know they accept dual citizen and also thank god for nigeria too because i know some countries don't accept dual citizen you know it's either you are for one country or that's it but yeah i'm still a nigerian citizen but i'm the latest latest united states of american citizen guys and i'm just so happy i want to say thank you for my cousin because i don't know if she's going to be what is she if, she's, if she's going to watch this vlog because it was her push that really made me go for it if not my lazy my lazy butt would have been lazy up and down like i wouldn't have started the process at all but i'm just so happy i'm just so you know thankful thank god for my hobby thank god for my family thank god you know for everything honestly and also thank god for my mom in law in heaven because yeah that was you know her great like she always talked about it she would always tell me oh my bell when are you getting your citizenship even two weeks before she 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 gave me her her citizenship um um the the citizen the citizenship civic um test you know the 100 questions she gave me the booklet she was like this is all you need for your citizenship it's not difficult you just have to bring out the time and read and study you know and um yeah i when i came out from the office today i just saw myself tearing up because she would have been the first person like immediately they, they said congratulations i would have run out from there and called her video call immediately but i know you know she she sees it she she's aware you know that finally i fulfilled her wish because that was a like a huge wish for her you know for me to become an american citizen and then um, thank god we did it hey you guys hi 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 i just um picked up an amazon package in front of my house am i the only one that orders things sometimes and then you forget like what you order honestly sometimes i will see package in front of my house i'll be like ah. But I didn't order, but I didn't order anything. Meanwhile, when I open it, I'll be like, oh, 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 okay. But guys, this is um probably I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to talk low because Ace is sleeping and I don't want him to wake up because I have um a lot of things to do like I have videos to film before he wakes up i want him to sleep as much as possible but Have you guys noticed that especially if you have kids right that time you want them not to wake up 
is usually when the like any smallest sound they will wake up immediately but there's where you you don't care if they wake up or if they are sleeping you can put on vacuum you can vacuum the whole house you can put music from the from sound one to sound hundred they won't wake up it happens to me all the time i was um, watching my clip from my citizenship video guys i was like oh my gosh <laughs> i looked a mess in that video but honestly i think that day we woke up i woke up like after five because the kids didn't go to school so i, I literally woke up after five that day to get ready like there was no uh oh, I did order this. I said it, I didn't. Because I'm like, Amazon, probably hobby. And uh, uh, hobby is always, always shopping. My whole house is filled with toys. It's like every single time you turn around, this man is buying toys for Ace. It's too much. And then when I complain, he'd be like, babe, Ace is a baby. He, he needs his toys. Ace, like the family room downstairs is filled with toys. Filled with toys. If not that, I made it, like, I conditioned it that. Um, you know, Ace has to go down, you know, to the family room if he wants to play. They would have been bringing um, toys and things like that up here in the living room, you know, everywhere. But yeah, I knew I didn't order anything from Amazon. But what, what was I even saying? No, I said I was looking at the clip from my um, citizenship video. I was like, oh my gosh, like I looked, <laughs> like I looked a hot mess, guys, a hot mess my face was oily and everything but that was exactly how i felt you know there was i just applied makeup um powder and lip gloss and that was it so you know of course i spent almost four or five hours in that office you know so yeah by the time i was done my whole face of course i have a severe oily skin so my whole face was oily and then coupled with the fact i have you know like acne and also i have all these pores deep pores in my face you know because of my like when i used to have terrible severe acne it had it left a lot of deep holes on my face ah that clip was terrible but anyways guys let me quickly go ahead start on with this video i have to film this content i need to get to ikea yeah i have to get to ikea um i i, I don't know if i've told you guys but we are working on this on this kitchen renovation in january so i'm trying to like gather everything you know i'm trying to kind of um you know we have to change all these cabinets this cabinet is you know old we tried to kind of um you know hobby tried he it was kind of um, brown before right so hobby painted it for me he painted it matte white and everything but i feel like the you know the cabinets it gotta go even the down cabinets they are all you know they gotta go so i need to get to ikea also i need to get to lowe's because of course when i'm renovating i'm gonna change this stove that refrigerator gotta go you know the appliances they have to go this um this stove has a very big i don't know have i ever told you guys the story of this stove guys this stove have it has a very um um what is it called what um it has a sentimental value to me because that was the stove my mother-in-law got for us after we got married you guys you know <laughs> funny thing of course you know the life of newly married right we were in we didn't have much then so i used to cook there's this very small um tabletop cook um cook cooker is it cooker i guess stove tabletop stove i used to cook so one of the days when she visited she just saw me i was squatting in the kitchen downstairs you know in the downstairs kitchen i was squatting cooking she was like oh no 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 no, mama oh no like you know i have you guys have to get a stove then i think this stove was around probably 600 700 dollars then 700 dollars was like ten thousand dollars you know for us then and she you know she came visiting she stayed with us and then i think after she left the next week we just got a call from home depot they said oh they have a delivery for us we were like ah, we didn't order anything from home Dep from home depot 
only for us to go outside and then we saw this stove you know she got the stove for us and i promised myself you see this stove this stove is gonna stay with me like forever so even if like i'm gonna switch it but i'm not gonna throw it out i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it in the kitchen downstairs because you guys you know the funny thing you guys have i haven't even been able to show like the whole this whole house because like of course as we are renovating we are able to you know like create content with more and more of the spaces but yeah i have a kitchen downstairs too so i'm gonna be carrying that downstairs and then i'm gonna get new appliances for this kitchen right here so yeah I have to get to Ikea to look at their cabinets and see what can be done here. All these things, this cabinet is really, really tried. That's the funny thing. I was telling a friend of mine, you know, about, oh, maybe we should start looking for a house. She was like, what? Are you crazy? What are you looking for? Which house? Is that with all these renovations you're, you have here? I said, but this is my house. Like, even if we, you know, we renovated it, it's still, we added value to the house. So, like, it's not like, it's not a waste. If I see a, a, a house now, sweet, uh, if I say sweet, if I see a house now, guys, like, of course, we are buying a one family house. But yeah, till then, you gotta work with what you have. What is this? I have, <laughs> I have this gap. I have this gap in my lashes. And it's as if I'm, I, I was just looking at the clip again. I have this, um, I have this um, gap in between my lower lashes and it's as if <laughs> something is hanging under my eye, but there is actually nothing there. It's just, I guess my eyelashes, they curled like this way. So it left a hole. Sorry. Oh guys, I just um, stopped by my mailbox i have to pick up my packages but oh this weather is so cold it's freezing oh. hello 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 there's nobody here <laughs> Hello? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need help here. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I was I was a little scared because I was calling and nobody was in there but they finally came out i guess they were at the back um you know of the building or something <sighs> oh winter now your mate winter now your mate <laughs> <laughs> this winter is really wintering. <laughs> winter is wintering. Jesus. And this one is those, you know, all those bone, bone chilling colds. <sighs> That's how it feels. We just got to IKEA, guys. You guys, hurry up now. These children, anytime we come to Ikea, they always <coughs> want us to grab them um, Ikea snacks. So, you guys, what do you want? I hate doing this thing myself. I don't like Look at this. <laughs> Easy boo. Piece of work. You guys know I hate doing this. Do you guys know how to do it? I, I, I don't like it. Start order. Start my order. Uh -huh. So what does everyone want? Angelique, what do you want? Angel, what you doing? I see though. 
pop food. We have a pizza slice of pretzel. Uh, no, in, in here. Huh? In the basket. Actually, it will be our shopping. What we shopped. Okay, inside the shopping basket. Yeah. Ah, his leg is stuck, Angelique. Okay, so Ace <laughs> is having a hot dog. Essie, mm -mm. Essie, you are the you are the uh, you are the goods we came to purchase. Huh? Angel, you're not doing it. Come on, I'm waiting. No, I'm waiting for someone to come and help me. Look at this one. I thought you know how to do it. I know how to do Let it. Let me do it, man. No, it's